Hey guys, and welcome. This is Review This Now. And uh, today, we're going to be reviewing a uh, Santa Raid card. Actually, sorry, it's not a Raid card, it's just a Santa card. So, uh, basically, you can only connect four hard drives to this. And, um, yeah, let me uh, explain here. The, uh, the exact model number uh, is the SIPEX40064. And uh, you can see here this model exactly that I have here. Um, it supports uh, X1 PCI Express. Um, it has the four SATA ports, um, SATA 3, but uh, it's not compatible with eSATA or RAID. So RAID, you, you know, you can't do RAID 1, RAID 0, RAID 5, RAID 10, or any of that. This is just a standard um, uh, SATA card. Um, yeah, I can read off the specs here. It's uh, compliant with PCI Express version 2. And it's backwards compatible with PCI Express version 1. Um, I mean, all the new motherboards these days uh, have the PCI Express version 3. Um, but most of those boards are backwards compatible anyway. So, uh, yeah, serial ATA specification 3.0. So that means um, you can have hard drives that are capable of uh, 6 gigabyte uh, per second. And um, this model specifically uh, can be used uh, on PCI Express 4, 8, and 16 slots on the motherboard. Um, I uh, yeah, supports communication speed of 6 gigabit uh, or 3 gigabit or 1.5 gigabit hard drives. So, you know, that's just standard 7200 RPM. Uh, hard drives, mechanical hard drives. Uh, also, um, yeah, it'll work with SSDs as well. Um, this one is not, I believe, hot plug or hot swappable, but it says here, yeah, eSATA, which I believe is hot pluggable, so I don't think this model is capable of doing that, um, but on the box it says it. Uh, yeah, yada yada yada. Okay, yeah, so, um, it's supported in Windows, Vista, <laughs> who's using Vista, 7, 8, Server 2008 R2, I'm sure this works in Windows 10 as well. Um, so uh, yeah, let's open this boy up. Grab this knife here. Stab myself with it. Yeah, so it comes with a uh, SATA cable, two SATA cables. Um, a this is a low profile bracket so if you had a small form factor computer that was uh, with low profile PCI Express uh, slots on the case then you'll need this uh, here's the card itself Let's open this bad boy So yeah, you can see this is the PCIe one X1 um, slot here, and then you can see the four SATA ports right here, where you can put four, you can hook up to four hard drives. And um, yeah, I'll show you a closer look here. Yeah, it's a really nice card. I uh, the, the main reason why I got this uh, is because of uh, something called BurstCoin. Uh, BurstCoin is a uh, cryptocurrency that uh, uses the uh, mining protocol of uh, using hard drives. It's a uh, called uh, proof proof of capacity. And um, yeah, this is quite. This I hope this will work. Uh, this should work because all the hard drives are going to be singled. Uh, BurstCoin utilizes single hard drives, so I won't need RAID anyway. So, and this card doesn't support RAID, so that's that's perfect. Um, yeah, I can show you an example. I got a hard drive here. I just have like a two terabyte hard drive right here. 
let's uh, plug this guy in. Just as an example, if you wanted to do this yourself. Yeah, so that's pretty much what it will look like, you know, how a hard drive will be plugged into this. And this will be read onto your computer on your motherboard. And, um, yeah. This would be really good, you know. This is, you can put four hard drives on here, up to ten, I think ten terabyte hard drives will work on this. And, um, yeah, it'll be quite a, quite a nice little guy in my, uh, burst coin machine. <laughs> um, oh, I guess, uh, yeah, it comes with the driver disk. Um, I don't think you'll need this. Windows 10 should, um, should install automatically the driver. Yeah, most likely. Uh, and the what's this comes with the manual, I'm guessing, and some kind of like limited warranty terms and conditions. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, that's that's pretty much it. This is the review of the. IO Crest SATA 4G uh, 4 port, sorry, PCI Express card. Um, you can buy this on uh, Amazon, that's where I got it. Uh, I'll have the link in the description. Um, yeah, so please uh, feel, feel free to uh, like and subscribe, and uh, if you liked what I do here, um, please uh, leave a comment or uh, all that good stuff. Okay guys, have a good day.